This week, we're remembering J35, Taliqua, the mother orca who pushed her dead calf around the Salish Sea for 17 days last year. Her journey grabbed the world's attention, putting a spotlight on the plight of the endangered southern resident killer whales. The majority of those whales have failed pregnancies, just like Taliqua. King 5 environmental reporter Al Samaro hit the water with a research team that's trying to understand why. It is a picture-perfect day around the San Juan Islands, and pictures from above are what this team uses to identify what's in the water below. Hi, I just wanted to let everybody know that we are going to launch the drone. Deborah Giles works with the University of Washington Center for Conservation Biology. And so does this rescue dog, Eba. We're following the path of a transient orca, and Eba is sniffing for its scat. Her body gets really tense, and it can just be a very quick jolt like that. And then she does this thing where she, she'll kind of crane her neck like that. This area is critical summer habitat for the southern resident killer whales, and their scat makes for a rich library of data. When EBA signals, scientists collect it for analysis about stress, nutrition, and all the failed pregnancies. They found that 70% of pregnant southern resident females miscarry their babies. And out of that, 23% of those pregnancies are late-term pregnancies, which are very um, costly, energetically costly for the female and also dangerous for the female because the bigger the calf, uh, dead calf in this in these cases, um, the harder it is to to give birth to a dead a dead fetus. Giles says the whales are underfed. The southern resident orcas only eat fish and mostly chinook salmon, which are also declining. It's the reason Giles says the whales aren't visiting these waters as often as they used to. If they never come back and. Um, but yet are finding food someplace else that would be that would make me happy at least until we get our acts together in here and recover salmon stocks transient killer whales like this one eat mammals like sea lions and seals which are plentiful and so those orcas are here a lot the reason that i don't think it came from this animal anyway is because this has all kinds of stuff in it that's been here for a while Giles thought J35's dead calf might push policymakers to speed up salmon recovery, but what it did do was help increase public awareness about the whales. This group screamed at us to get away from the orca, not realizing we were on a research boat. This is an example of the public getting involved and understanding what's happening with killer whales. One of the most recent southern resident orcas documented dead is J17. She was J35's mom, and now the whale who lost her calf last year has also lost her mother. J35 is now the oldest female in her family group and the leader who will continue their struggle to survive. What I want to say to people is to, to don't give up on the Southern residents. If we recover, when we recover the Southern residents, it means that we're doing good things for the overall environment. In Harrow Strait, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.